This is a large property company in Kiev. Instead of homes and offices, the Khan real estate developer is now making giant metal anti-tank barricades known as hedgehogs and smaller spiked barriers aimed at stopping wheeled vehicles. Yet another example of how Ukrainian civilians are supporting regular troops as they try to repel Russia's advance. Dmitry Bilezakovets is an advisor to Kiev Mayor Vitaly Klitschko. Uh, we now in the center of the, one of the biggest development companies in the city, and uh, because of the war time, they changed their activity, and uh, they help our city uh, to make the anti-tank hedgehogs. After Russia invaded Ukraine on February 24th, in what Moscow calls a special operation. Zaha Provedish, a foreman, picked up the phone and started calling the company's construction workers who remained in the capital. He said almost everyone volunteered to stay and contribute. Let's start with the fact that on the first day, once Russia treacherously attacked Ukraine, when they started crossing our borders, when the nearby cities went up in flames, blood in all of us, Ukrainians, began to boil. We understood that we as builders did not know how to fight but we could be useful. Workers salvage reinforced bars and girders from construction sites to produce spiked and movable defences against wheeled vehicles like tanks. So far, the makeshift factory, which started operating last week, has produced 110 large hedgehogs, according to the company's deputy director. He added that the company runs other similar sites in the city. On February 25th, Kiev's mayor and boxing champion Vitaly Klitschko said the city, quote, has gone into defensive phase. His deputy Andrei Kryshenko said tens of thousands of people in the capital had received weapons and many more were waiting at enlistment and recruitment offices. Sergei Serdyuk, a welder in his 50s working at the Khan makeshift factory, is ready to join the fight. We will break the spine of the Russian army. We have already broken it. We have cracked it and we will break it. 